Hey guys, welcome back. This is Goddess Nicole Tarot back to bring you another energetic read for the collective for my beautiful and handsome soul tribe members. Thank you guys for tuning in and thank you for always supporting me. It is greatly appreciated. Go ahead and stop by the website. I am affiliated with Otter Spirits. So make sure you guys check out the website. They sell a different variety of things, guys. Not only the beaded bracelets, but they do sell other jewelry that you may find attractive, okay? You may find a gift in there for yourself, your loved ones, your children, anybody that you find that is close to you and deserving of a, a high quality uh, gemstone, okay? Just go ahead and use my code LACHELLE20. Don't forget that, LACHELLE20, guys. Go ahead and support your soul sister. I would appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for supporting me and the channel. It is greatly appreciated. I was getting a channel message where there's a masculine here. I don't know if he's uh, divine or he's stepping into his divinity or what, but there's a masculine energy that is actually done with a karmic, but this karmic is not done with this masculine, okay? Okay? So let's tap into the energy here. We've been picking it up. These karmic energies are being exposed, child. Okay? We got, yeah, some. It says inner alignment. This person is not aligned. Whoever this is, okay, this karmic, she's not aligned. I don't feel like this person has any goals. Um, she has a lack of planning with her life. I don't think she's moving. This person could be stuck, stagnant. This person is fear of change. So she may not want this to change, this relationship with this masculine and her to change. But whoever she is, she is stuck. She can't move. Maybe this person could be in some trouble. She could be on house arrest. Or something has got her stranded. Okay, this maybe she's in a self pros imprisonment. Somebody is emotional here. Yeah, this masculine could be coming up out of some type of sickness or some type of uh, something that this 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 person does. Okay, or he's recovering financially, spiritually, poverty. She's trying to improve himself. Okay, somebody is trying to improve themselves. Okay. But this 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 karmic is weighing this person back and she's spreading lies here this is somebody that's not willing to go through a breakthrough they're not willing to change anything this is brutality this is confusions chaos inner uh conflict this could be clouded judging rethinking this could be somebody needing some inner clarity somebody needs to focus here this this karmic may have this this uh, masculine judgment clouded, or she has her own self clouded, and she's not willing to accept accept things that things have changed now. Things are over. Somebody's not willing to accept it. Yeah, the love is gone. I cannot make it up. Ace of cups. Ace Ace of swords to the Ace of cups. Somebody lied about them loving this masculine. Somebody could have lied about them having foresight or intuition <laughs> somebody is emotionally blocked here somebody could have said i love you i love everything about you and they were lying the whole time maybe somebody just loved what this masculine could have did for them okay somebody is empty they don't have any self-love and in intuition they have repressed emotions so they could be going through like some inner turmoil like childhood old wounds that they may need to heal from this woman is suffering whoever she is the karmic is not done yeah she could be coming up in masculine energy this is a king of cup this is somebody who is mentally blocked emotionally blocked spiritually blocked too this person is cold she's coming up in masculine energy she gives bad advice. She's emotionally manipulative. This is somebody that does not have any self-compassion, right along with not having any love for anybody else here. This person don't have any feelings. They don't. This is a cheater. This is a habitual. And she betrayed somebody. This could be a male or female in your case here, okay? Taking however resonates. But this, this, this karmic ain't done. Whoever he or she is, they're not done. 
this is but something has came to a painful ending. Somebody done found out somebody was cheating in this couple. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Whoa, come through spirit with the confirmation. This this king of cups may be realizing that he is really stuck with this person. Something is ending between them, though. It's a, ten of, a whole ten of swords between these two. Child, they could be betraying each other. Lying like they love each other when they really don't. There's no love in this. Nowhere. Child, who is this? What is even this? Tell us more. <laughs> yeah, somebody's getting the news of the betrayal, of the cheating, of the lies, of the manipulation, the betrayal. It's cut somebody deep here. Somebody now, somebody feels like they defeated. It could be this empress. I mean, this empress in reverse. That's what I'm getting from her. She a queen of cups, though. She definitely doesn't use her intuition. This is somebody who is very codependent, needy. She gets defensive when somebody tells her the truth. She could be a habitual liar here with the ace of swords coming on top of her. She's very beautiful, beautiful. Brutal, I meant to say, and judgmental. This is somebody that could be judging somebody. Yeah, she's blocked. Somebody done blocked this woman. Somebody may be trying to get their life back together. This masculine may be trying to get his life back together. And he had to make this difficult decision to disconnect from this woman. Because she is a tyrant, whoever she is. Child, tell us more his spirit. Uncover it. Yeah, the bad investment. Seven of swords. Seven of pentacles. I said seven of swords, so somebody's a liar. Whew. The card says lack of long-term vision. So yeah, this person ain't got no goals. This is somebody that could be lazy. This could be this person's wife, child's mother. Okay, somebody he got some children by. Could have some more children, but they ain't not his. They could be his stepchildren. Child, this whole, this is going down the drain here. Whatever it is. Yeah, because there's a lot of cheating. A lot of cheating on sexual energy. This could just be sex-based. That somebody is still in this relationship. Still tied to this person. He go over there, hit it, quit it, and then he gone. Child. <clears throat> what is even this? What is even this? Yeah, this woman is losing control. She losing her mind. Somebody could have lost a vehicle. Could have got a repo. She can't get up and go like she want to go. She's stuck. She's facing some type of delays here. Two of wands in the reverse is delays. Hidden fear. Bad planning. She didn't plan this. She could not know that this person was just as horse as she is. Child, let's see. I don't know. Yeah, somebody finna be single. Somebody done block somebody. Could have blocked somebody. Could have bought somebody on their phone here. Somebody made a decision to avoid this woman. Somebody could be looking at a nine of pentacles. Somebody who is self-sufficient. Who is very independent. Who is in this luxurious energy that takes care of herself, her mind, her body, and her money. Somebody could be looking at this person wants to give this person some news. Child, who is in this nine of pentacles? Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. Somebody is attracted to this nine of pentacles here. Who is this? <laughs> Somebody that's manifesting. I'm telling this person want to take a leap of faith to whoever this is. The Nine of Pentacles to the Ace of Wands. This person is manifesting this woman back. Could be a Virgo or Leo, uh, Sagittarius or uh, Aries here. Or Aquarius in this fool energy here. Somebody find this person attractive. They don't even sleep with this person. It's too many. It's too much chaos between these two. It's too many backstabbing energies, lies, deceptions, betrayals. It's a crisis between these two. This person wants to be relieved of this karmic. And this karmic is saying, hell to the no. You're not getting away that fast. You're not. This could have been somebody he went back to his past. 
and now he feels restricted, feel trapped, yeah, in this relationship. I can't make it up. <laughs> Yo, this, this Corbin said, no, not so fast, buddy. Not so fast. Yeah, somebody is looking at wish fulfillment, though. They could be only wishing and hoping, but they cannot come towards this, uh, this Nine of Pentacles energy with the Ace of Wands here. Somebody want to be with somebody else here, child. Yeah, because they weak with this woman. Somebody is weak here. Somebody views this woman as weak or views this relationship as a, a restriction tool, and it's weak. Somebody don't have the inner strength. It could be this karmic. This man feels like this, but hell, both of them weak to me. So this is a not so divine masculine and feminine, distorted masculine and feminine. Child, they're both insecure. Both of these people codependent on each other energy, okay? Through sex, could be sex magic here, but this person is also attracted to somebody else. That's a lot of self-doubt, self not being aware here in this love affair, this partnership, this union. There's no mutual attraction here. Somebody feels obligated or stuck to their baby mama or baby father here, child. Taking care of the kids. That's it. Yeah, somebody's cold. Somebody's cutting somebody off. I'm telling you, bro. Because <laughs> somebody is lazy here. They could be bored with this woman. There's no perfection here. There's no work habits here. This woman could be lazy, out of work, don't want to work, could be laying in the bed all fucking day, don't want to do shit. Yeah, and she's stressed the fuck out because this person is being cold to her. Could be telling her ass straight up, giving up the, the business, nothing but the truth. I'm tired of you. You're stressing me out. I don't want to be with you. You nag and lay around the house all day. The house look a mess. You're not cleaning up. You're not cooking. You're sitting in a mess. Child. Somebody is tired of it. Somebody making a head over heart decision here. Okay. They're tired of this stressing. Yeah. About this family. So they done got a part of. They betraying each other here. 10, 10. Something is over here. Ten of Cups is here. Somebody wants to be happy. Somebody is tired of the bullshit, the nagging, the complaining, the crying, the procrastination. Oh, I'm going to get up and do this. Or I'm going to sweep today. Or I'm going to mop today. I'm going to fix the kid's hair. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take the trip. I'm going to... Somebody is tired of that. Let's see. Yeah, and that's sad. This woman is sad. That this masculine probably won't have sex with her again. Somebody's not giving no love up, baby. Somebody's telling somebody this, the business, what they want to do. They tired of this. Yeah, somebody, somebody, man, I'm telling you, they're exhausted. Seven of Wands, they're tired of it. Can't make it up. Somebody's confidence is being destroyed here. And this King of Swords does make head over heart decisions here. They do speak the truth. They tell you what's on their mind here. They're not going to hold back. Somebody could be crying, could be upset. Somebody could be crying all the time. This person is very needy and codependent and insecure on this masculine. Somebody could have all the work on their shoulders here. They could be doing it all. This is why this person is in the reverse because they tired of being in this relationship. But they telling the truth. They telling the truth. They telling the truth to this woman but she refused to let go. Somebody could be refusing to sign the divorce papers. Somebody could be refusing to go to court. I don't want to break up. Somebody is sad here. Somebody's tired of the lies. Being sneaky and deceptive here. Somebody is tired of it. Hmm. This is betrayal. This is deception. Getting away with something. Acting strategically trickery. He's both, it's bad, I'm telling you. They both could be cheating on each other here. Yo, because somebody got their mind on the Empress, bro. Somebody want to sneak away to the Empress? <laughs> Yo, have mercy. I am dying. <laughs> this 
Aries who's in the nine of pentacles to the eight of wands. Somebody find you irresistible, Empress. Somebody want to take a risk. They want to say, fuck all of this. <laughs> they want to get up and go. Because they don't feel the love no more in this connection at all. It could be a king of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius here. That's feeling this way. Okay? Or this person has those signs in this person's chart. They could have these signs. Somebody is tired. Yeah, because they don't gain the clarity. They know what they want to do. Somebody has a sudden epiphany here. Sudden awareness. They want to choose happiness. Somebody wants to risk it. Because they withdraw with this person over here. This is just like fighting tooth and nail with this woman over here. Yeah. Somebody's checking to get aligned. Somebody trying to get their stuff in alignment for an empress. Because they know already know the empress ain't going to play that sneaky shit, that cheating shit. They already know that. Yeah. Somebody trying to get back in alignment. They're trying to get away from this Queen of Cups. Yeah. Because they feel bad. They feel hopeless, feel helpless. They're tired and burnt out. Tired of fighting this shit. Somebody is burnt completely out, going to war with this woman every day. It's a fight every day, whoever this is. This woman could nag and complain a lot, but shit, you ain't doing shit. Yeah, she the devil. Somebody feels trapped to the devil. Eight of swords over the devil. Boy, somebody is tired of this. Whew. Somebody wants to divorce. Somebody wants to be free. Somebody was acting foolishly, uh, promiscuous here when they got this woman. It was all about sex at first. Yeah, that's how somebody gets you here, through sex. Somebody got some addictions here. Somebody was fooled into thinking that this woman had their shit together and they really did. Somebody was fooled here. Can't have shit together. Yeah, somebody was fooled into a happy relationship that ended up nothing but lies and exhaustion. Child and betrayal. What the fuck? Somebody wants to be happy. They can't be happy with the devil. Mm, 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 mm. Things have been exposed here too as well. Somebody wants success. They want to celebrate and they want pleasure and happiness with this empress down here. But somebody else ain't got their shit together. Yeah. Yeah, they lay here and think about the empress. That's who they think about. Somebody could be sleeping in different rooms. They're not even sleeping with this person. They do this in secret. Yeah, this this king of wands wants to break up with this. this they they fan of, Somebody fantasize a lot here. I'm talking about a lot. Daydream. Constantly about an empress. That's finna go into connection with somebody else here. They could be sad about this too. We got the emperor to the empress. Damn. Somebody secretly knows this. And they secretly know they cannot have you ever. Because they trapped with the devil. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Woo, somebody going to be so jealous when you give her this divine masculine. Yeah, this is wish fulfillment so for some of you guys to be with your divine counterpart. Okay? This could have been somebody that just misses you. Just misses you from the past and they hate they ever got with this motherfucker. They went back to somebody of their past. Like I said in the beginning, this masculine man think he threw. He getting a divorce, it's over. Not so fast. Somebody said, uh-uh-uh. This bitch always pulling back though, because somebody suffered from a lot of addictions here. So he always run back to this person. And sex them down. And, and then the cycle repeats all over again. Yeah. Damn. One more here. 
Yeah, it does. Because somebody can't heal this. It repeats over and over. Somebody cannot transition away from this karmic. Or this karmic can't transition away from this masculine. It's just like they both share codependencies with each other. It's sad. It's really sad that they won't end up the cycle. They won't transition away from each other here. It's sad. Somebody else feels like they got unfinished business with you, but they ain't got shit with you, Empress. This ain't no business. This a trial. This a setup. This baggage. That's all the fuck it is. Yeah. This person done lost their job. Could lo they could have lost their focus. This woman is losing her mind. This man is losing their focus. This person don't have any self-development. Somebody could be burnt out at a job. They could be burnt out on this relationship. There's no motivation here. Somebody feels unexpired. They could be lazy, like I said in the beginning. Somebody don't have any passion for this anymore. They're tired of this. Yeah, they're tired of this third party. They're tired of celebrating with them. Over and over, repeating the same cycles. Somebody wants to be happy in another relationship, but they know they, they can never be back with you again. It's sad. Damn. Empress, somebody else know that you finna celebrate happiness here. With a divine masculine. They know it's a divine masculine around here. For you. They know this. And it makes this person sad. It makes them imbalanced. This relationship is imbalanced. Yeah. They sabotage each other. They lie on each other. Unrequited love. They do bully. They bully each other. This is competition, disagreements, fights, arguments, conflict, chaos, abusive relationship. This is what this masculine and this woman is in. Damn, man. This is sad. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> yeah, somebody thinking, somebody, somebody thinking about the Empress right about now, bro. That wishing woulda, shoulda, coulda energy. That's what I'm getting. I wish I would have did this. I wish I should have did that. Now it's too late for all that, boo. That shit is dead. And you in an endless, bottomless pit. A cesspoolery of karmic, toxic bullshit. That's where you at. Damn. A never-ending cycle. This is like a labyrinth of toxicity. That's what I'm getting Damn, it's, oh, it's happening over and over. <laughs> Tell us more here, spirit. Mm. Yeah, somebody wears a lot of mask here, bro. This masculine or this feminine wears a lot of mask. Hiding their true feelings. This person could be hiding their feelings about how they love the Empress. How they're so attracted to the Empress. <clears throat> How they could be still jealous of this empress here and sad about her, about losing some type of family dynamic with her, how the lies have been exposed. Somebody, somebody is hiding their true feelings with their significant other, who is also toxic. They, they gaslight each other here. And somebody is stressed because maybe this masculine... It's telling her the truth. I don't want to be with you. I never loved you. I've been cheating on you. And she's probably telling this masculine the same thing. Boy, they fighting like cats and dogs over there, child. Some of you guys are going into a talking stage with your divine masculine. Or you finna meet them um, at a talking stage. You guys could be meeting at a park or meeting at a gathering, family, uh, going on a night on the town. Y'all could be talking, could be interested in each other. Okay, this is how y'all going to meet at a friendship level, I believe. Y'all going to start with texts, emails, and calls. Y'all going to start talking more. This is how you're going to interact with your divine counterpart soon. And this masculine and this feminine, she could know this. She could know that this masculine still loves you, but they haven't got their life together yet. This is a fallen angel. Yeah. Yeah. This is ended between you and this person. 
or it's ending between this karmic and this masculine here. But it still does it still doesn't matter if he cut it off with this feminine or not. But by, by the looks of it, he ain't doing shit because she ain't gonna let that happen. It still doesn't matter if he do deaden it with this. You gonna have somebody else over here, boo. It's too late for whatever this is. You finna start a whole new brand new beginning. With new beginnings, liberation, reborn, and transition, tragic endings. Coffin energy. Scorpio energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody else is in a karmic relationship. Going round and round. Merry go round and around. That's what somebody is doing. Mm. Resentments, triggers. Perception, intensive intensity, letting go, turmoil, and fleeting. I feel like when this person they break up and they fuck and they make up. They break up, fuck, and then they make up. This is a, this is a this is a cycle. That's exactly what they is because somebody ain't doing no healing, none whatsoever. These are this is a toxicity addiction, abusive relationship that somebody needs to heal from. That's all this is. But somebody's not seeing that because their judgment is blocked. Their intuition is blocked. But the ace of swords coming out here in the reverse in the ace of cups, they blocked. Ain't no love in this shit. It's nothing but dicking down, arguments and fights. That's it. And they right back doing the same shit, different day. That's all this is, man. Oh, somebody is reminiscing. Playing events over and over in their head. This person is thinking about you each and every night. Whew, child. And they're sad. Five of Cups energy. Deep regrets, loss, failure, disappointment, loss, grief, pessimism. Somebody's playing a victim, feeling sorry for themselves. Damn, they, they got themselves trapped with this devil. And you done moved on, baby, to Big Dick Willie over here, baby. Some of you guys finna come in contact real soon with your divine counterpart. And you rose like the phoenix on whoever this is. Child, you're on to a new phase. You be damned if you go through a, a toxic karmic relationship with anybody else again. It's just the answer is just no. I mean, what's the point of keep repeating that shit? Going over and over, day in and day out. There's nothing coming up out of that relationship but toxic. Negative energy all the time. The only time you feel ever feel love or closeness is when you guys are fucking. That's not love. Child, I wouldn't want to be with nobody like that. Yeah. Somebody could be putting up their boundaries now. It says not today. Hurt. Avoiding conversation. Not dealing. Still upset. Yeah. Somebody could be in this energy. Sword and Rose. Clarity and truth. Revelations. Honor and protection. Now, you can look at this King of Swords here. As somebody telling them the truth. And they could be like, damn. You right, bro. Or you right, father. You you right, dad. Or you right, homie. I got to get rid of this shit. Somebody is telling this masculine. This king of cups in the reverse of truth. About this woman that they're with. And they just seem. Somebody could be putting this masculine on spell work. They could be doing spell work on each other, child. I, I don't know. This is bad. Somebody think they done got over this. Just when they think they done got over this, this feminine, she comes right back and lead this person right in the bedroom and they they do the do and he right back out, strong out, child. I just, I cannot. I, I, <laughs> I am dying, yo. I am, yeah. Cut down. Cutting out, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment. They could be on a they could be off they could be off right now. But sooner or later they're gonna be on. Child.
That's why I say divine feminine, divine masculine. Y'all don't need that headache. Y'all both out here. If you're dealing with somebody like that, man, thank your lucky stars you cut this person off. Because they were dealing with somebody else here that they was just off and on with. You were just going to be led by the little strings on your chinny chin chin, child. This is a this is somebody leading somebody on. That's all that is. Yeah, sabotage, reveal, working it out, repairing. I told you. They right back on again. Child. Karmic cycle. You finna get a love call. Somebody finna get, yeah, somebody finna start a date. I'm telling you. Somebody, somebody is watching you, Divine Feminine, and Divine Masculine. Somebody is watching you. Okay, y'all both match each other's fly. Okay, that's the energy I'm picking up here. Yeah, because you was, you was, you was tied to a narcissist. These two are narcissistic out here. Yeah. Love bombing each other, self-absorbed, one-sided. Somebody, a narcissist may want to express their love to you, child. Boy, your ass going to be laid on. Because I'm telling you, this person wore masks. They're in a karmic relationship here. Yeah, you don't grew past this. With Butterfly here. Yeah, you don't transition. You don't evolved, and you're going on to the next phase. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. And I'm proud on you guys. Yeah, I'm proud. Mirroring each other, self-reflection, introspection, inner wounds. Yeah, y'all could be a mirroring each other. It could go like this too as well, Divine Feminine. You have a toxic ex from your past. And this Divine Masculine have a toxic ex from their past. You can look at it that way. It can go either way. I'm getting different scenarios here. And these people want you back. But you know they're distorted. They're toxic. Okay. They're obsessive. They're aggressive. They don't have an ounce of love in them. They cheaters. They're lies. They're manipulators. And they're gaslighters. And you know you'll be a part of a karmic relationship if you allow these people back into your life. The shit is dead. With the karmic. The coffin out here is dead. It's over. No more talking stage here. It's a wrap. Yeah, you're looking for new love. Unconditional love. This is what you want. Come through spirit. Somebody who is selfless, not selfish. It's a difference. Fucking and love is a difference. Somebody wants love. And I don't know about y'all. I want love. Child. I really hope this helps someone. I hope it gives you clear and concise answers that you need. And remember, guys, you know, if you can't find love, in a, if, you, if there's no love in a relationship, it's usually karmic. Okay? Move on. Okay? Love yourself more. And respect yourself. Show yourself worth. Okay? I love you guys. Stay safe. And remember, if you're on the website, use the code. Okay? I did pin it in the community tab. So make sure y'all do use the code, okay? Use my link, okay? I love you guys. Stay safe. Mwah. Bye. Until next time. <laughs>